Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to Eating Simple with Cola. Um, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Also, make sure your post notification bell is turned on so that you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And flood, flood, flood the comment section. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys just uh, basically how I make my seafood butter sauce. Nothing um, too difficult, but I'll just show you all the ingredients that I use. So, um, this is the pot that I like to use. It's like one of them, this old pot, but it cooks real good. Yeah, this is the pot. So this is the pot that I'm using and um, all the dry ingredients that I use, I will go over that as I um, uh, start putting them in. Um, my dry ingredients is here. My fresh ingredients is here um dry ingredients i use garlic powder of course um onion powder of course i sometimes use the creole seasoning the tonys um it just depends the sloppy mom occasion seasoning yeah i use that sometimes as well smoked paprika the mccormick's cajun because this one tastes different than the sloppy mama's cajun so i use sometimes either or or both um the cayenne pepper the accent is you know i use that here and there because the accent is not really that good for you um so i use it here and there um the um worcestershire sauce of course butter some sort of butter and i use some um liquid onion soup mix and um brown sugar uh, for the for the fresh ingredients, of course, I use garlic, fresh garlic, onion. I have my onion already cut. Fresh ginger, and I use I like to use green onions. Gives it a different type of flavor. So, yeah, this is the pot is um, hot. I'm just gonna make sure the camera is on it. The pot is hot, and so I'm going to start uh, putting my butter in mm -mm. if I can get it out and yes I already washed my hands before I started the video so don't worry And I'm using the unsalted um, butter. Yeah. So, I'm going to just use three sticks. Of course, um, you won't be using all this butter at one time. You're just basically dipping your stuff in it and then, um, yeah, it's going to drip off anyway. So how is everyone doing you guys I tried look I recorded um, three videos Popeyes ramen noodle and Burger King and it just was an epic fail like the devil was just not letting me put my videos up or whatever you know um, my my phone stopped recording at a minute and 42 seconds on all three videos I did not know until once I was done eating and went to check ins like the videos never did <laughs> the videos never did get fully recorded I was so mad I was like oh my goodness what the heck is happening here but anyway um, you know what I was like dust yourself off try again and yeah that's basically what's happening so basically I'm just cutting up my garlic while the butter is melting cut my garlic up in like big chunks don't have to be too fine if you like yours a little bit smaller you can make it a little bit smaller but it take a lot longer to make you know cut them up smaller so I just kind of cut them in bigger pieces not too big of a pieces but you know it's not going to be like minced you know so yeah so while the butter is melting I'll just work on this the butter 
cider is melting just fine. Chop, 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 chop. Some garlic over here is trying to hide. Now the butter is pretty much all melted down. kind of in the right size pieces that I care for. Okay. So I have the garlic chopped down um, the way that I would want it. The butter is it's melted down the way I, I would want it to be melted down. You can see that. That's how I want the butter. And, um, yeah. So now, what I'm going to do is add, I have a technical difficulties with my stand. I don't know why I want this. I'm going to add, yeah, because you only need to see the stuff anyway. I'm going to add in my, you can leave your onions like, I cut my onions like this. You can leave them like that, or you can cut them in half pieces like this. Uh oh, I'm going to drop the onions. I'm going to have to pick that up later. And just add the onions in. Round, hold, half, however you want to do it. I used one whole onion. Sometimes I use two. Depends how much onions I want in there. Get that in there. And then I add in the garlic. All of it. I can't even tell you how many cloves I used. I use a good amount. Use it to however much, however garlicky you want yours to be, basically. Right? So get that cooking. Then, next will be the green onions. Chop those up. Wash them very good. Wash them in, in the inside because there'll be there'll be dirt inside. So you gotta really um, be careful with the green onions because I don't know if a lot of people know, but there be some dirt on the inside. So you gotta really clean it. your green onions turn the fire up so I start cooking the green onions go in last thing that's going to go in will be the ginger fresh ginger now with this um you really just put however much. I have this size ginger, but I'm not going to use this whole thing, of course. Um, you put however much you feel like you want to put of the ginger in there. However, 
however much ginger you want. However much gingery, is that a word? Gingery, you want it. Cut it up small. If you want, you can also um, cut the ginger and the the garlic up and put it in a blender and blend it if you want. Throw that ginger in there. That's cooking. Give it a little stir stir. Mm. Only if you can smell it. That ginger, that onion, the green onion, the white onion, garlic. Mmm, that smells so good. Okay. And then, let that do its thing. And then, um, <clears throat> I will start adding the dry ingredients in a minute. I hope I put enough ginger. If not, there's always... If you don't put enough fresh ginger, you can always go back and add a little bit of ginger powder. Because I have the ginger powder too. Um, or even better yet, you can use... Um, But I think I put enough. I'm gonna put a little bit more. That should be enough, y'all. Some green onions, that garlic, that ginger, yellow onion. Mm. Smells so good. Mm. Look, this is how it, this is what it looked like. Can't really see it, but it's gonna be it's gonna be put together in a minute. So now I'm gonna add um, my dry stuff which is a heaping tablespoon of garlic powder. I might go back and add more, who knows. A heaping tablespoon of smoked paprika. Okay. 
I don't have that much. I don't have that much onion powder here, so I don't have to really mash it. I'm going to just dump all of it in there. That's about a tablespoon or more. If it's more, that's fine. The more, the merrier. Can't have too much onion powder. There's never too much onion powder. This is the McCormick's um, Cajun seasoning. Dump that in there. Accent. I got another bottle. This is good. Boom. That's the done bottle. Cayenne pepper. Depends on how spicy you want it. Sugar. Let me. Mm -hmm. Looking just how I want it. Yippee! Mm, it smells so good. So, so good. Mm. Looks good as well. to have a little bit of sweetness to it so I might add a little bit more than one tablespoon so I'll put two a little bit of Worcestershire sauce boom 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 that's done and what am I missing oh one more ingredient that I'm gonna add Chicken broth. Add however much you like to make it um, to your thinness or thickness or whatever. If you could only smell this, it smells so good. let this cook it's gonna cook down yeah I'm gonna add some more mm. yep Baby, this is so 
the cutting board. all my ingredients back where I got them I might go back and add some things because I tested to make sure <clears throat> it is the flavor that I'm looking for and if it is not then I go back and add accordingly to what um, I'm the flavor I'm trying to get this is empty If I need to add more sugar, I'll go back and add more brown sugar. Um, yeah, so those were all the ingredients you've seen. And I actually said it too, that I used to make it. And that's basically it. Also, I... Also, I like to use these. I usually use this ginger in it. And if I don't like how much ginger is in this, I will go back and add. I'll just use these. These are very strong. Like when I really don't feel like cutting up stuff, yeah, I go to that. Mm, I don't know if you can smell what it smell like. Mm-hmm. It's got that smell, like the taste that I'm going for. We gonna see. If it tastes like that, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So just let that um, do its thing and then. I usually let that um, clean up my mess, you guys, while I'm talking. I usually let this cook at the least amount of time, 30 minutes. But it's up to you how long you let it cook for. I think the longer you cook it, the better. Because I have, that give the seasonings time to like kind of mesh together and party with each other. party with each other yep they partying with each other right now they bubbling oh did that spoon fall in there oh my god i think it did it did oh shoot the spoon fell in now it's gonna be hot yikes ha ta 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 It's bubbling, y'all. I don't feel like looking for the top to that pot, so guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a pizza foil. I don't feel like looking for the top to this pot, so I'm gonna get a pizza foil, turn the shiny side down. Boom. Just like a top. Just like having a top. 
Maybe these there just in case I need them. Clean off my little mess over here and the mess around the pot. Yes, I definitely like to work in a clean workspace. I like to clean as I go. Instead of waiting to the end and do all the cleaning, I like to do it as I go along. My mom said, a good cook clean as they go along. So, I like to think that I'm a good cook, so I clean as I go along. Test to see if the flavor is right so I can know if I need to add anything. So I have a testing spoon here. This is bubbling, bubbling. I just need to know if the flavor is right. Mmm, it's spicy. Oh, shoot, I forgot to add my... One thing I forgot, you guys. I wonder if you can guess what it is. Can't believe I forgot to add this. Can't believe I forgot to add this. Lemon, I forgot to add lemon juice. I have to put lemon juice in here because I forgot to add it. Mm -hmm. Squeeze that lemon. Mm -mm. Some seeds dropped in there, that's okay. That is okay. It tasted good when I just tasted it. But it's just about to taste fire right now. Stir that one juice up in there. It tasted like it had the right amount of sweetness. Rice, salmon, pretty much anything. Dang, I did it perfect. Turn it down a little. You know why it's kind of all hard. Down low. So pretty much. My sauce is done. It tastes so good. I'm not joking. It tastes really, really good. Um, let me turn this on off because this owl be tripping. It's all boiling hard and I put it on. 
put it on low. No eyes boring heart like that. Anyhow. So that's basically how I make my um seafood butter sauce. That's cola's way. You seen all the ingredients. Um it's real super simple. All you just gotta have is all those dry ingredients. You can add or take away whatever you would like. But that's how I make it. If you make it if you do it exactly how I just did it, you're gonna be in love. You're gonna be in love. I have forgot to add the lemon, but you know, you could always add lemon. I like to use fresh lemon juice. So my sauce is pretty much done, guys. Mm. My sauce is pretty much done. white onions mm, all that garlic yes yes ma'am yes ma'am spicy but the flavor is spectacular I'm not joking and I'm not just saying that because I made it it really is if you follow that mm, you're gonna be happy 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 so this is the end result Thank you guys so much for stopping by and uh, make sure you share this video with a friend so that friend can share with a friend because why sharing is caring positive vibes guys only positive vibes only be blessed bye